Good morning. The ambulance is looking a little bit different than it normally does. That's my bed that I normally sleep in. This is normally my couch, but I have it slid out into the guest bed and I had to sleep here last night. Why, you may ask? It's kind of funny but also kind of not funny. There hasn't been a lot of sun in Southern California recently, so my batteries have kind of slowly been dropping down and dropping down, and then I also did a full charge, almost two full charges on the e-bike, which takes a crazy amount of power. I assumed my system was still good. I thought I had plenty of battery left. Somehow, last night while I was just sitting here editing, all the lights just shut off and the batteries died completely. My bed is on linear actuators, which run off electricity, so the bed has been stuck in this position all night, until I was able to get some sun this morning and I wasn't able to pull the bed down so the bed has been staying right there and I had to use my uh, secondary bed to sleep last night. It's kind of funny. I'm just sitting there, the light shut off and I'm like, well, no big deal. I'll wait till the morning and I'll get some more solar. I'll charge up the batteries, blah, blah, blah because it's actually supposed to be sunny today. And then I was finally so exhausted that I was ready to go to bed and that's when I had the realization that I can't bring my bed down. So I had to like pull all my blankets and pillows out of that little crack and set up the second bed. Oh, also my friend Sarah, she let me borrow her Starlink last night. So that's my first time getting to try Starlink. And I gotta say it's, it's pretty awesome. It's kind of annoying to have to take that big thing and set it up outside somewhere all night. I'm kind of parked in a populated area. So if I were to leave that out all night and someone stole that, I'd be in big trouble with Sarah. I think she's still parked behind me. I'm honestly not sure. Let's take a look outside and see what these uh, views are looking like because I haven't even seen it here in the daytime. First, we do the, the creepy lookout to make sure there's no people right there because it's awkward. I'm going to shut off my lights, give the solar a better chance at charging up. Sun is actually shining for once. I love this. This is my friend Sarah's van. Let's hop up on these rocks and, oh. Oh, I love parking next to the beach. So this is where we stayed last night. This road gets pretty much no traffic at all at nighttime. It's kind of like a far off spot over here, but I need to go inside, brush my teeth. Okay, before I brush my teeth, since it's like an obstacle course to get to there, I'm going to put this all back into couch mode, move the table back, bring the bed down if there's enough power to do that, and get the bike put back there, move her Starlink so it's not just sitting on the floor. So enjoy this little transformation time-lapse right now. Kind of better in here. I still got like a giant pile of clothes and stuff. I don't even know what that is. I gotta figure that out. But I'm going to go deliver the Starlink back to Sarah. And then I'm gonna brush my teeth and eat something. Ooh. I have one Starlink for you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Ah. Oh, this is Sarah. Hi. A little warning would be cool. No, I didn't want to warn you because I want it to be raw and real. Oh, it doesn't get more raw than this. <laughs> it's not bad. Thank you for the Starlink. I appreciate it. All right, have fun at your next meeting. Bye. Today's her first day on a new remote job, so she's been taking meetings all morning as I've just been being a slob in here. What was I going to do? Brush my teeth. Yes, brush my teeth. The last couple days, I got to admit, I've just been eating wheat thins, veggie straws. I literally ate one of these thin breads, just dipping it in hummus. I haven't been, um, I haven't really been chefing it up, but that's going to change today. I'm going to go grocery shopping because it's Monday. Everyone will be at work. I'll go to the grocery stores while they're not busy. If you guys have any really cool recipes or things that you want to see me attempt to cook in the ambulance, comment them down below and I'm going to look through all the comments. And if I find something really cool to cook or challenging to cook that I know I'll probably mess up, I'll give it a try. But you gotta let me know like what I need to buy and stuff too, cause I don't know how to, I don't know how to cook that much. All right, teeth brush time. There it is. And the teeth are brushed. All right, we're about to head to the grocery store. I'm making Sarah come with me because every time I go grocery shopping by myself, I get the exact same things every single time. I cook the same food, the same everything. That's also why I want you guys to comment things that I should try to cook. It's open. I'm making Sarah come with me grocery shopping so then she can influence me to buy new things because I never change it up. Check out the views from the bridge. Crazy how high up this bridge is. 
massive. Walmart neighborhood market. Pretty tiny parking lot here. I'll have to find some street parking. You know what? I'm gonna try it. Red onion. You gotta dice up red onion and cilantro and mix it together. That's okay. I really should get bags and put these vegetables in, but I'm gross, so. <laughs> get it? My last name? Yeah. A whole Southwest salad? Yeah, why not? To put on taco? I mean, it looks good, but like to put on a taco. I'm just saying. Actually, that would make a good taco. I am just saying. When you have nothing else to eat, or you have a salad and a bunch of tortillas, it literally tastes like a taco. I I'm sold. <laughs> Adam's all natural. It's got the oil, which is really annoying at first, but then you mix it all up. Fire. All you need in any peanut butter is peanuts. Is peanuts. The normal ones. Look at that. Look at all those ingredients. Should not, it should just be peanuts. <laughs> Yellow corn or white corn? Why don't you pull up a tortilla? If it lands on the label side, we're getting yellow. The ingredient side is white, because it's white. Gotta get the white ones. King size. Because they're gonna be really small tacos, you want really small cheeses. Ah, uh, wait, what about cotija? What do you miss that? What you put on every taco, and I know for a fact I said that incorrectly, and I apologize. Oh, you wanna say that again? No. <laughs> <laughs> This gross chicken sandwich that's been under a heat lamp all morning. So that's how hungry we are. Don't have enough hands for this, so fast forward to the ambulance. Hey, <laughs> what's up? Thank you. You got the you got the music. You got the tunes while you go shopping. There we go. Boy, you out there? I'm, I'm out here. I like. I like yours too. Amen. All right, take care, man. Take care. Have a good day. Oh, here's some uh, lentils I cooked like two weeks ago. Yogurt. Another jalapeno, some of those. Another cucumber, some Chick fil A sauce. And that is a well stocked fridge for an ambulance, I think. So, this is the real mystery is, is the chicken sandwich that has been sitting under the heat lamp all morning at Walmart. Visually, I'd give it like a four, five. Five. Wow, that looks good though. Damn. Chick-fil-A sauce. Kind of wish I didn't cut it in half. Hmm, pretty good. Yeah? I gotta say, I'm impressed. I had no expectations going into this. Wait, wait, try it without it. It's not bad. It's worth it for like being, I'm really hungry. I wanna eat something really fast. I approve Walmart. This is from a few days ago at Tiny Fest. We had, I think, one bite each, and it's been sitting in my fridge ever since. It's still good. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. It's purple and... It's ube. It's... Filipino delicacy. It's like an ube pudding with um, a cake in the bottom. What's ube? I, I think a lot of people know what pudding is. It's purple yam. Purple yam, guys. If you don't know what yam is, that's a sweet potato. I didn't know what yam was. So as per Sarah's advice, I got the salad, mixed it all up, and I'm gonna dump it into a tortilla. Make a little wrap, because I don't know, I feel like everything is better to eat in a wrap. Look at that. <laughs> Cheers. All right, I think we are going to drive to the beach. I didn't get to hang out at the beach as long as I wanted uh, the other day. So I'm gonna go there. Right at this point, I have three videos I need to edit. So I'm getting a little bit behind on editing. I need to catch up on that. So I might just go relax at the beach, edit a little bit, enjoy the sun. This is the first day it's been sunny in like a week down here. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. Head to the beach. Head to the beach. Head to the beach. Wow, this is really, really bad right here. Gosh, I haven't seen
seen anything like this since I've been in San Diego. This is crazy. It's literally as far down as I can see. That's pretty sad. We made it to the beach. And do you want to hand me Starling? Yay for being tall. Oh wait, no, no. <laughs> I almost dropped it on your head. I feel like such a bougie person having a Starlink. There we go. Now we're gonna get high speed internet so I can edit at the beach. <laughs> Ambulance is just getting bougier by the day. Starlink on the roof, oceanfront parking. One bedroom, no bathroom. For rent? No, not not for rent. Sorry. Oh, dirt bike's in the way. Whoops. I'm on it. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna very casually edit and hang out and socialize. I'm gonna set up the computer and get a little bit of work done. Hey, we got more friends that just pulled up. Look who it is. It's Kyle. So editing a video right now, hanging out at the beach. Gonna be watching people play volleyball soon. But Sarah just delivered some Capri Suns for us to drink. Nothing better than sipping on some Capri Suns with your friend at the beach. All right, just spent a few hours editing. No more computer work today. I'm to just relax. This is the life right here. The actual dog beach right over here. It's a crazy amount of dogs over there. We've been staying over on this side. There's Kyle's van, my ambulance, and Sarah's van. That was poetic. I kept a straight face. It like was that. romantic. I would love to watch it again. You know what? We're gonna play it again, well, right? Now. All right, we're taking opportunity. Opportunity? No, we're taking advantage of having a garbage can right behind the ambulance. Get rid of one of the little bags. And it is about time to clear this out and make tacos. Yeah, because I'm hungry. She's cooking us tacos. That's not true. Me and Kyle are just gonna hang out while she cooks. I think we're just probably just gonna hang outside, have some beers, juice and boxes, you're and she's gonna cook us tacos. <laughs> I have a little appetizer. My least favorite thing about filming a lot is I can't play music in the background while like I normally would be blasting some like amazing music while I'm cooking but I can't because of stupid copyright laws. So now you guys get to listen to music while I cook. We just have to play music in our own heads. No, I'll sing out loud. I got you. You're gonna, you're, but you're so good that it's probably gonna get copywritten because they'll think it's the real thing. That's true. Yeah, problems. All right, it's time to start cooking tacos. Uh, Are we cooking yuca? Oh, we need to use that air fryer. Yeah. Yep, that's for how to eat yuca. Oh my God. <laughs> Ouch. The freaking peanut butter <laughs> smacked me in the shin. Okay. Tortillas. Um, I don't know about throwing that one. We'll get some lime, uh, some tomato, some jalapeno, the lettuce, jalapeno, tomato, red onion. Uh, we have ca catilla. Oh, we have some more red onion from last week. Some cheese. That one didn't make it. And cilantro. I might eat a little bit more of this salad as a snack. Here we go. All of this is going to become a good meal, I promise. Cutting board and knife. All right, we got the tomatoes, the jalapeno, the cilantro, the red onion, the cheese and the lettuce are good to go. I just need to clear this area out. I was uh, kind of snacking on my salad from earlier because I am too impatient. I think we're gonna grab Kyle's air fryer and cook some yuca in it. I don't even really know what yuca is. I think I've had it before. I think it's good. Got all, we got, is that a dual action air fryer? Dual action. You got two things? Oh, Dual's. no way. Dude, that's Dude. fancy. I gotta have that in the van for life. I need to get one of those. Heck yeah. Well, yeah, we could plug it into the, Big old blue Eddie. 
All right, you know what? I'm gonna let her handle that over there. I'm gonna get this started over here. All right, change of plans. Now, Sarah is going to cook lentils as the meat. So we got the yuca going in here, cranking off of the giant blue eddy. We got her doing something out here. It looks tastes better than it looks. Kyle is supervising. I am, yes. Because we can't leave her out here too long with cooking supplies. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the ETA on this? Well, it's frozen, so... It'll be a minute. <laughs> It'll be a minute. Alright, I guess I will let her finish that. This is garbage. And I just gotta get out something to heat up the tortillas. And then we should be good to go. Alright, let's get big boy pan out. Get all these ones away. Yeah, well, I guess I didn't clean this last time I used it. That's kind of gross. Don't judge me. Woo! Neighbor, do you have a bowl for chips? Hi, Toby. Is this a dog bowl? No. This is a dog bowl. It's not. This is 100% a dog bowl. No. We got lentils delivered by Sarah. We got all the other fixings. <laughs> Finished product right here. Cheers to, I don't know, neighbors and bone apple tea. Bone apple tea. <laughs> Alright, we just cleaned up after dinner, packed up all of our stuff, and drove over to Planet Fitness. So all three of us are at Planet Fitness with our vans. We're gonna go inside, shower, and then we're all gonna go find a place to park together. And uh, I don't know, probably hang out for a little bit, and then we're all gonna go pass out and get ready for another day of van life tomorrow. But let's go into Planet Fitness and shower. and refreshed feel like a new man back to the ambulance kyle was coming out the same time i was but sarah i'm assuming she's still showering <laughs> but now we're gonna look on the maps and try to find somewhere to go park for the night because i don't even know where we are kyle just dropped the pin of this planet fitness because it's like one of the nicer ones in the area and i don't even know where we are i just follow the gps so i gotta figure out what we're near and then find somewhere cool to park on now it is time to scour Google Maps and find a place to park. Here's my spot for the night. Just on a random road here in San Diego. And then Kyle and Sarah are right over there. I just couldn't fit in the spots over there. So I had to come find some street parking. The downsides of the ambulance. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. The ambulance is like really freaking crooked in this spot right now. I even tried switching to the other side of the road and it was even more crooked. So I'm back over here now. But anyways, I'm gonna go to sleep very slanted and I will uh, catch you guys for tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching. Appreciate all the support on the daily videos. Got a lot more coming. So stay tuned and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.